Hi and welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as a principal sales engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With this video, I want to show you how you can embed transactions into dossiers so that transaction services are available within dossier dashboards, but not in a static way. So it's not just an iframe integration, it's an integration in a more active way so that the dossier is able to control the transaction. This means uh, a user is able to change the context of a dossier dashboard and then this context is passed to a transaction and based on this context data is written back into a database. This is a more active integration of transaction services into dossiers. By default this is not uh, possible with MicroStrategy dossiers but I will show you a trick how you can achieve this uh, with MicroStrategy and my solution is based on version 10.11. Um, first, we will take a look at the final result and I will show you um, a dashboard that used this functionality. Okay, what you see here is a MicroStrategy dossier. I'm running this dossier in web. I'm running this dossier not in library, but you will see later that it works in library as well. So what do we have here? We have uh, 10,000 customers and uh, based on these customers we are visualizing some metrics here to the left of this bubble chart and moreover we would like to add comments uh, to these customers and we want to write these comments back into a database and we want to link this data with the reporting data so that we can uh, report the comments in combination with the figures we want to see in the dashboard. So this is a really active integration of uh, a commenting process with the reporting data and I can achieve this in a kind of multi-source um, access scenario. Okay, so let's take a look first how it works. As you can see here to the right, I have a filter panel. I'm in a dossier here. We have 10,000 customers here. And if I change the value here to another customer, you see uh, the bubble chart is updated with the figures. Okay, this is not uh, very demanding here, but to the right you see here uh, we have here a commenting box yeah, and you can see here is the customer that we selected in the panel and below this uh, commenting box we have another grid that uh, shows me all the comments that have already been entered to a, to a given customer. Okay, so if I switch back here, let's say to this customer, you see the customer context change. Now we see the key figures to this customer. We see this customer does not have any comments so far. And now I would like to enter a comment and I name it. Uh, this is nice. All right, I click submit. And now you see the comment has been saved to the database. Um, we need to refresh uh, the dashboard because we are working here in a in a, a live connection scenario. We want to see the comments immediately in the dashboards. You have two options to achieve this. The first option is you just hit refresh. And now you see the comment is now loaded from the database. It's a live connection to the database. I've written the comment down to the database and then it's linked uh, with the other data uh, that belongs to the reporting data. Okay, the another option um, you can choose to achieve this is an auto-update mechanism. Uh, you can choose for dashboards. So you can define, let's say, the number of seconds by which the dashboard updates itself again and again and again. And if you have a live connection uh, to the underlying databases, then you will see always the refreshed data. Okay. Okay, let's make another example. We take another customer. You see this customer does not have any comments so far. Hi, this is my second comment. All right, I submit. All right, click refresh. You see, there it is. I put another comment here. This is another comment. All right, submit. All right, hit refresh, and you see the comment is written to the database. We see the data immediately. As I mentioned before, please keep in mind, you can configure the dashboard in that way that it updates itself and the underlying data connections uh, automatically. 
by a given time frame so for example every 10 seconds or every 30 seconds and this is a recommendation uh, for for using this in library because you do not have this update button in the library uh, menu yeah uh, you need to uh, hit there the refresh button from the browser to see the the results here immediately but if you configure the auto update yeah then uh, let's say based on the time frame of 30 seconds or so then it's updated immediately there okay uh, let's switch to library so you see here here's the same dashboard I need to log on again to my library transaction enabled dossier yeah you see here here are the comments we entered so far let's change here to this customer okay this is nice that was the first comment we entered before second comment for Miko save all right and then hit browser update F5 or refresh and then you see there is the second comment all right if you configured the automatic update of the underlying data sources, then you would see this immediately without any interaction. Yeah? All right, good. And now it's time to take a look uh, how this can be achieved here uh, with MicroStrategy. And um, as you might know, MicroStrategy um, has a container control. And in this container control, uh, you can put any kind of uh, URL and with that you can load external components into MicroStrategy and um, as you might know uh, transaction services is not available for dossiers out of the box so you need to implement transactions by using documents MicroStrategy documents and this is the way I did it okay so, but I did it in an interactive way this means if I change the context here with the uh, filter panel then you saw that the document and the context of a document that is enabled for transactions has all has changed as well. Okay, so how can you do this? Um, first, I would like to go into the edit mode here, and you can see here to the left we have two data sets here. Okay, so the first data sets, this is my reporting data sets, it's based on the tutorial data warehouse, and we have some data about um, regions, customers, and so on and so on. Uh, moreover, we have an additional table uh, in another database. It's uh, it's a different database, and I named this table table customer comments. It's very easy. This table does only have two um, columns, and we're using data blending here. Data blending. We're blending the data uh, on on the customer ID, yeah, and then we can link this data together, reporting data and the comments that are linked to customers here in the same page. Let's take a look at the database. So you see here, I'm using SQL Server here, um, and um, this table is loaded directly into my dashboard with an online connection. So um, I'm not um, exporting the data here into an iCube. I'm using the online connection and this is very convenient because then you can just update the dashboard or hit refresh in the browser and then you see the updated data from the database. Okay, so this is approach that is relevant um, in, in the dashboard here in the dossier and below the dossier yeah, to make this work uh, you need some additional components okay so uh, you need a document you need a transaction report and you need to link this together with the dossier okay so first I would like to show you how this is linked together and then I will explain the components okay so uh, for the first thing is what we have here is a container control okay so this is an HTML container and if you see this container control here, yeah, uh, you can see here there is a link uh, in this container control, yeah, and this link leads to a MicroStrategy document, and this document is enabled for transactions, yeah, and now the key point is how can you pass the context that you selected in this global filter panel to this document, yeah, and this can be achieved by using uh, URL API. The URL is configured dynamically from the dossier. Yeah, I will show you how it works. And then uh, the the document is based on a report, and the report is combined with a prompt mechanism. And the prompt mechanism uses value prompts. Yeah, and then this value has been passed uh, 
uh, from the dossier yeah, to this container and then the mechanism works. All right, so it's a little bit complex, but uh, if you follow these steps, it's very easy to achieve. So let me just recap. So you need a document, and in this document, we're using transaction services. This document is based on a report, and this report is combined with a prompt, with a value prompt. And this value prompt has has to be answered yeah, by the dossier and therefore the dossier needs to create this link to the document dynamically and you can see this here in this box yeah here you can see the link if I scroll down you see there is a part of the link and it's called value prompt answers and then customer ID okay customer ID is a metadata object or is a column here yeah, uh, that comes from the dossier and then this is configured in the link and this link is updated every time we change the global customer filter panel. Okay, this is how it works. And now let's take a look uh, at the transaction report and the document. And therefore I want to switch to my MicroStrategy developer. So you see here uh, we have a transaction report, we have a document that is enabled for transactions and the transaction report is very very easy. Okay, so if we go here into the edit mode, if we click here on show me the transaction, you see it's just an insert into a table with two columns. Okay, it's the customer ID. The customer ID is passed from the dossier and, um, and the comment is then uh, was entered uh, by the user in the document. All right. And then this is used in this document. And if I go into the web front end, yeah, and if we go into the document, you will see here, here's my document. I click on edit. It's very easy. You see there is the value prompt, yeah, that needs to be answered for this document. This value prompt is answered by the dossier, by the dossier link. And here you can see the document. And if you click here on configure transaction you see we have the comment here that will be entered by the user and the custom ID is passed uh, by the URL by the dynamic URL that is configured dynamically from the dossier all right so this is the trick and if you compare this with uh, collaboration yeah you see you have a lot more control here yeah uh, to do this because um, if you use collaboration, collaboration is nice and you can use uh, these commenting capabilities and so on and so on, but, but it's not so intelligent. This means um, you can't write data into a specific database, into a specific data table. You can't join this data uh, with, with uh, the reporting data you see. You, you are not able to, to create really complex data structures and link them together in an overall scenario where you have reporting data and comments and approval processes and so on and so on. So this is really more power here in the in the hands of the developer you know, to combine this dossier with transaction services. Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you enjoyed this little video. With this video I just wanted to show you the mechanism how to um, combine transaction services with dossier but the example was quite simple it's just the mechanism but you can do really a lot more with transaction services and you can even define really complex workflows complex commenting processes in combination with with approval scenarios and it's just up to the needs of the customer and the developer how to configure this in MicroStrategy and uh, an underlying database. Yeah? Because you have all the freedom you need to define these data structures and you have all the freedom you need to define the processes on top of this data structure by using MicroStrategy transaction services. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I wish you all the best and thanks a lot. Bye.